Oh my god, did she have to write everything in her made up gibberish code? Fucking Marshall, their CIA spy shit. God.
me? Are you lost? barge into people's private workspaces she clearly doesn't know who she's talking to shouldn't you be in a safe room why because of those his things the rangers keep going on about haven't you people sorted that out yet the situation down here could spell doom for the bureau you mean this mold correct perhaps you could help me I require samples of various mold strains, and the mold has made the environment far too dangerous for me to fetch them myself. Really? Mold samples? I thought this could spell doom. It could, and it will, whoever you are. The mold is spreading. We need to find the source before it spreads too far. And these samples will do that? No. Samples of five unique strains, when blended properly, will allow you to travel deeper into the pit where I've pinpointed the approximate location of the source of the mold. Okay, so what do these samples look like? Similar to the one on my table there. I've made a list of the samples I need, here. You'll find them throughout the threshold. I'll take a look. My name's Jessie, by the way. I'm sure it is. Have you worked with Emily Pope? Our paths have crossed. Darling arranged for us to have a coffee. A meeting of the minds, he called it. She's talented. I can certainly see her doing well here. I feel like there's a but coming. But she's drunk a bit too much of the Bureau's proverbial Kool-Aid. She shouldn't be afraid to forge ahead on her own. Science is skepticism. Everything must be questioned before the truth can emerge. So, is Darling your boss? If you insist on clinging to such outdated hierarchies, then... Yes. However, I would argue that our fields are too dissimilar for one to manage the other. Of course, Darling would much prefer to find his own miracle solution to the Bureau's fungal frustrations. He always needs to be the hero. So tell me again how you came to work at the Bureau? Well, like I said, I was brought in as a special advisor. A temporary position, you see. Although that's not the whole truth. I was employed here for a time, straight out of university. After a decade of admittedly fascinating work in threshold research and regulation, I began to chafe under the bureaucracy. I needed a change. Not that academia was so different. And then the mold happened? About four months ago, yes. Since my departure from the Bureau, they hadn't been able to find my equal in threshold analysis. Darling and I had kept in touch over the years, meeting at conferences and the like. He called me, and I booked a flight. I've never been able to say no to a man with a dangerous alien biosphere. <laughs> I had to leave my post in the middle of term, but so be it. So she's a professor. That explains a lot. The mold seems to be having some weird effects on things. Indeed. Even people are susceptible. The fungus grows rapidly within the chest cavity, killing the host. Luckily, one must ingest the stalks to become infected. Don't eat the mold. Okay. We've always cremated the infected bodies after autopsy, but I believe there may be another stage of maturity. A blooming, if you will. I never thought the word blooming would sound so horrible. Thanks for the information. My pleasure. This work won't finish itself. <laughs> 